Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm Crafty Paper Bits on Instagram and um, on YouTube, obviously. Uh, so today I have a flip through of this uh, designer paper bag um, covered junk journal. So the idea was inspired by um, artist Maria at J'adore le papier. She is on YouTube, on Instagram, and I will put all the links down below. Um, so for this journal, I purchased on eBay a um, Guerlain bag. Um, so as you can see, um, uh, this is part of um, the craft bag. And I did, like, I did leave the, the handles. Um, and I... What I'm showing you right now is that it is wrapped in some, like, advertisement, um, like, like, some sort of reproduction of a silk scarf from Guerlain, from uh, Chalimar, sorry. <laughs> um, it is, it is not uh, silk. Um, it is, um, oh, let me check that. It is polyester, um, just <laughs> FYI. Um, but uh, you can see... The, the bag has some um, embossing, uh, some gold embossings and uh, a gold embossed design, I mean. And I just uh, clipped a few ephemera. So there's this kind of small booklet. This is actually for um, um, like some sort of, um, what do we call that? Um, uh, it's like an article about some sort of disease. So <laughs> um, then there was a picture and an antique. Uh, I think it's, let me see. Uh, I'm not sure. No, it's not silk thread. Uh, but it is a, it is antique uh, thread card. Anyways, um, opening it up, we have, I did leave... Um, the side open so you can use it as a tuck spot um, and I just tucked a few goodies um, the bag the baggie that I just showed you is actually um, it's a perfume um, sample that I received in a box um, that I ordered some time ago oh here I'm just highlighting um, what it is written which is uh, your strengths your strength is that you're a woman, and I thought it was um, a pretty cool ad, so I just tucked that inside. I made this little pocket out of some, um, I think it's dictionary book page scraps, and I just tucked some uh, labels, and there's also, uh, this is a wine label, and there's this little envelope that I received from Cassie at Dusty Roses. Um, she sent me a beautiful happy mail um, some month ago. And she sent me some stamps in this um, um, handmade little pocket. So I just tucked a few inside as well. Um, you will see throughout the journal that the color scheme is um, orange, uh, oranges, terracotta, and... Um, and blues and I really I really love this combo like this color combination I had a lot of fun making it and it's really different from what I usually make in terms of colors and so I really yeah it's more like earthy and it's actually the the colors that I like the most <laughs> um, I know it's hard to believe because I'm, I tend to make pink and blue journals but that's just because it's easier for me to work with these colors for some reason. Uh, this is, uh, the first page is actually um, an old advertisement page from magazine for um, Cartier, the brand Cartier. Um, so here it's just an advertisement for a lighter. So, <laughs> And I'm just showing you some photo negative of a woman and two beautiful women. Um, I did tuck um, an antique French prayer card above and the, I made a tuck with the piano roll paper, um, you know, um, the, the thing that um, um, 
just to, the, the first part, you know, the thing to roll the, the paper. <laughs> I don't know how to call that. Um, what I'm showing you here is like a clip, some sort of vintage um, clip. I don't know the exact name in English, but you'll see what I mean. Um, if you look up, you'll see the back of this clip and it's, uh, you know, it's those advertisement things. And this one is for olive oil, by the way. <laughs> um, here's a little letter and I tucked some handmade paper that I bought on Etsy. And if I find the, ch the shop, I will put it down below. And this is a beautiful uh, page advertisement page um, from an agenda, like a calendar book that I recently purchased and it was so brittle and fragile that I just decided to use the page, um, the pages uh, to decorate the junk journals. And I think I'm going to show you the book actually. Yeah, it is from Les Grands Magasins du Louvre. As you can see, it's really, um, it's really damaged and the papers are so thin and so I just thought I might just use um, the pages throughout my journals so you'll get um, an advertisement page and I tried to find some perfume um, advertisement so um, you'll see a few perfume related things throughout um, this is just a like a book um, book, book, uh, I don't remember how you call that, <laughs> some, um, uh, oh my god, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's really difficult to, uh, be as quick as the image when you do a voiceover, um, but, um, how do you call that? Not calling. Well, yeah, it is calling cards, and I just washi tape them on the page. You can remove them and use them in your project. And this is just a little booklet of some um, some venues in Paris, and uh, I think it's from the fifties. There was a wallpaper pocket here. Um, there's some vintage trim, a side tuck. And um, I used some wrapping paper from an order that came, that arrived from Japan. Uh, this, is, um, uh, this is an advertisement and a little snapshot card of a chateau in France. And as always, I'm using these, um, these little hair clip, like those embellished hair clips that I get in this store called Action, which is kind of the Dollar Tree of Europe, I'd say. Uh, this is some vintage ledger paper from the 40s. This gorgeous, gorgeous embossed paper that you'll see um, in a second is... Oh, actually, I'm showing you where the um, page comes from. And it's a very beautiful ledger. I think I will share some pages in a future sale. I'm not going to use <laughs> everything... Um, but it's, it's very beautiful. Yeah, so that will be for, um, a coming sale. And so, as I said, there was this piece of paper embossed and then she put some gold. Um, it's from Yuki, I believe, Yuki's shop. And I think it's called Atelier Poney, but I will check that out for you. And... Here's just a piece of vintage wallpaper, and on the side I tucked, um, well, there's this um, kind of rose plate uh, illustration from Redouté. I think you all know who he is by now. He's really like, um, um, I mean, uh, lots of people like to use um, his rose plates um, um, yeah, <laughs> and here I was just showing you, this is a pressed flower that uh, comes from my garden. It has this pretty pink color. This is a beautiful yet funny advertisement. Here is just, this is a bottle of perfume. I found some perfume advertisement, but 
um, well, I don't know if you saw my post post on Instagram, but there is this ad beneath the the bottle of perfume um, that um, sells some sort of like mechanical device for the nose to be thinner or to be lifted and <laughs> I don't know it's just, uh, it's just so fun to me uh, here's the other side of the, the beautiful advertisement page and this comes from this page came from the book like the magazine um, Femina who is an antique French women's magazine and there's just a few pieces of ephemera tucked into um, the pockets. Um, I did make a few collages with some wallpapers and some fabrics. Here is this gorgeous, I think you all recognize, Heather's beautiful handmade paper. And the sari trims come from Boho Tree. Here I just uh, added a few, like a little bundle of goodies. There's this little coin in the craft envelope. Then there is a journaling card with a little bit of collage on it. Um, and um, there's a handmade ephemera. This one was an ad for um, Christian Dior uh, perfume for men, I believe. And a few uh, vintage book pages, all French for you to collage with. This is from the stamp, stamp collector's book. And on the back there was um, like a Christmas greeting, a vintage Christmas greeting postcard. So everything is clipped together. You can remove it from the journal and use it in different projects if, you, if you'd like to, if you'd rather to. Um, and yeah, I just used a little button at the end of the, the hair clip. So yeah, that's the greeting card. Then on this page, I, I just attached some uh, sewing notion and just this is some threads. And on the back, there is this beautiful, I think it's vintage, um, Oh, maybe it's not. No, actually, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's from a 23, so it's almost antique. Um, holy card. There's a little envelope that I washied on uh, the page. And um, I tucked some little journaling space, like uh, journaling pages. And this is, I believe it's um, like a collection. Like some sort of um, collect collectible um, card. I think th I think the previous owner did some sort of like try to hang this one up or something. I don't know. There was some thread on some twine. I mean on the back. I'm not sure. Um, but it's protected in this sleeve. You have some journaling space. You can remove it if you don't really like it. Um, I just wash it it on the envelope that is also removable. Um, vintage, vintage postcard of Paris. Um, this paper, this page was uh, taken from an embroidery magazine and I just did some collage on top. It was this printable that I printed on some, um, just some regular, <laughs> let's say, um, book page. Um, there was there's this uh, vintage postcard, black and white postcard of a French uh, landscape. Um, here, this is part of this. This came in a vintage magazine. Uh, the 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 paper behind the postcard right here. Um, it came from like an art magazine, and I just like the colors. I thought it went well in this journal. Then I just made two handmade uh, journaling card, cards, one with wallpaper and one with a picture that I, um, uh, that I cut from a vintage magazine. Uh, I did some repairing on this uh, vintage French envelope and I just tucked, I also tucked this beautiful uh, image that came from a vintage women's magazine. 
So you have these um, pretty... Well, the, the magazine is called La Femme Chez Elle, Woman at Home. I have a book, um, kind of, it's, it's more, it's a recent book, uh, filled with pages of photographs, old photographs. So I just took one and put it in the, the, the journal, this one. And then what I, I just showed you was some real washi tape that actually comes from Japan. My sister went there, um, I think it was two years ago, when she brought me back some stationery that was very kind of her, and I, I used some here. Some beautiful handmade um, coffee-dyed papers with this with these um, design, you'll see. I think it, it's leaves design or bird, I don't remember. And this is just part of a, well, an embroidery magazine. Uh, here there's a tuck spot. I added this um, postcard, vintage French postcard. And then on this side we have um, a f like a photo postcard and a morning 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 I don't know how you <laughs> pronounce that uh, but it's like it's like a small card that you know um, announced death of a person um, you have the black borders and on the on the back we have this little booklet from the theater of Montparnasse in Paris, and this is a small, like, booklet with, I don't know if this, it's the program inside, and there are some ads as well. Um, this is a part of the Grand Magasin du Louvre um, calendar, and as I said, the pages were so thin, I tried to take one out, and I just, um, ripped it and uh, so I just took the the part the upper part and put it in the journal because it's beautiful <laughs> and there's a little card this one I got from Cassie some time ago uh, and here's a um, paper bag from Japan with a beautiful stationary um, postcard and the paper bag I got from this Instagram shop that is called um, Panora, I think. Um, I'm going to link that down below if I remember. And um, she sells some great vintage Japanese things in ephemera. Here there's this beautiful um, eco-dyed doily um, that my friend Alessandra from Paper Art Alessandra made. And she sent me some goodies some time ago. It was very kind of her. And um, here are some... There's an antique embossed uh, French postcard. A photograph. Some journaling space. And a handmade journaling card. Um, this is the other part of this ledger page. And I had to fold it because it was too wide and so I just did some pockets and tucked some goodies inside some uh, vintage French papers and actually no actually that was another ledger and I'm going to show you um, the other book Le Grand Livre and yeah I used two different um, ledger pages inside this one is larger than the other that I showed you pre previously. So I used that, that one as well. And this one is blank, so you can write on it. And here's just some um, vintage, mainly vintage French ephemera. Well, this one is antique, I remember. It's from the, the end of um, the, the 1890s. Uh, beautiful handwriting
a little handmade um, card. I love to um, cut out illustration illustrations that I think are kind of fun or interesting and made them as journaling cards, like illustrations from magazines and books and stuff like that. Here again, another illustration. Um, I like I like the colors and I use some scraps on the back to back it and make it as a journaling card. And this is a collection of, again, some advertisements, smaller advertisements that I cut out from a, a vintage French magazines and I backed them with some postcard that I didn't like the front of. Um, this is some uh, new um, postcard um, album, <laughs> sorry, uh, pages that I have and that I'm going to have for sale tomorrow actually on my Instagram account. And so I used a piece here. You can tuck some pictures and some photos, some uh, postcards, I mean. And the, sh the, the, the little thing I just show you is, is a menu card. There's a colla collages piece, <laughs> some gold uh, leaves, perfume images, um, Kirsist again, the other part of this ripped uh, calendar page. Um, I didn't want to leave anything behind, so I just folded it. Um, you can tear it apart if you'd like and use it for collages or write on it if you can. And there was a there was this advertisement card before, and this is a printable from Ruby and Pearl. I believe it's her one of her latest latest kits, um, the fall themed kit, and it's really pretty. And I just um, made a double pocket using some scraps. Uh, this is an, a washi paper, I think you call that or, you know, um, special paper from Japan. Um, it's really pretty. Again, I got it from this Etsy, um, this uh, Instagram shop. And I just cut out some advertisements from different, um, from the Femina, actually, Femina uh, magazines. And I also put, I don't know if you saw it, but... I put some Victorian die cuts onto the pockets. I glued the, them down. This is a vintage French telegram. It's not, well, it's written in French, but it's from Belgium. And I do have some more on my Etsy shop if you'd like to get some. Uh, some antique from 80, 90, uh, 91 document, handwritten document. And this was a handmade journaling card. Some trims on the, yeah, right here. <laughs> Some different types of um, ephemera that I thought went well with the color theme. And this is another, this is another journaling card that I made. Sorry, you can see I I didn't uh, check that before <laughs> before I actually made the voiceover, but I do have a lot of cat's hair on my jack I'm on my yeah jacket, so I'm very sorry about that. I have four cats, so <laughs> um, but here are some like a little pocket you can write on. Um, I did put inside a few images that I cut out that I thought were kind of nice. It's artwork and also like a movie with like a movie um, um, yeah just a movie image I don't know uh, with uh, Brigitte Bardot and this is some old advertisement a handmade card some tickets and this is a beautiful um, a beautiful illustration and I received I ordered a, f a while back uh, from 
uh, a shop that I love on Instagram. It's called Village Art uh, Riot, I think. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, she has a lot of um, things and her selection is always very eclectic, which I love. And so I bought these, this envelope, this um, corn, I don't remember now, <laughs> but I turned it into a, a small booklet using some scraps and I just added, you know, collages and sweet corn, sorry. <laughs> um, I just added a few goodies and some handmade paper. Um... Just an advertisement card. This one is antique, I believe. And um, inside you have a little booklet. This was the Femina um, magazine page. And so here is a little booklet. So I just like to, uh, to add uh, like um, a wide variety of ephemera. I like the eclectic uh, selection. I think they all are interesting. They all have history and, you know, um, I think it's nice to get different things. Um, so, um, next we have this large pocket that comes from Ruby and Pearl's uh, digital kits and um, inside a beautiful artwork, illustration and some antique uh, like music score book sheets. The other side of this first ledger, um, here's just um, a book about roses and I did add some scraps just to make it more interesting I guess um this is an I don't know if it's antique mm, it's it's not it's from the 30s it's really old though um it has beautiful handwriting um here we have a secret hidden <laughs> pocket and and this is the end of the of the journal So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the flip through and the voiceover as well. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get better at it, but um, also I forgot to mention, but this journal is already sold. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.